Hello and welcome to part five of this Developing Literacy in English course. Please be aware you will need to access and download the accompanying worksheet prior to watching this video. Please pause the video and do this now. Just click on Downloadables. In part one of this course, we considered what is meant by the term literacy and took a brief look at some of the key elements involved. In parts two and three, we considered how we could approach the teaching of literacy at word and sentence level. In part four, we extended this to text level. In this final part of the course, we will now consider literacy and learning styles. How can we cater for different learning styles in the literacy classroom? For purposes of this presentation, we will focus on the following three broad areas. Visual learners, who display a preference for learning through seeing. Auditory learners, who display a preference through hearing and listening. And kinesthetic learners, who display a preference for moving. However, we must always take care not to oversimplify. Although some learners may have a particular learning style preference, in reality, all learners naturally use multiple learning styles in life. By being aware of different learning styles in our classroom, we can aim to improve the quality of our pupils' learning by making sure that our own teaching and learning styles take these into account. So, how can we facilitate the learning process for these different types of learner in the literacy classroom. Visual learners usually have most difficulty listening to a narrative, explanation or instruction. Using gestures and images to back up what you are saying will help. This type of learner needs visual input in class. This helps them to stay on task, focus and decode the information being presented. <laughs> In contrast, auditory learners need to hear a narrative, explanation or instruction read aloud in order to understand it. We can complement this in the literacy classroom by eliciting and reinforcing everything verbally as we go along. We can also make sure that any written explanations or instructions are read aloud. Kinesthetic learners can then be classified as learners who need to move in order for understanding to take place. They often find it difficult to listen to routines and explanations without some sort of movement or gesture. As a result, kinesthetic learners usually like writing and prefer doing rather than listening and seeing activities. They also respond well to activities where they can move around to complete a task. Pause the video at this point and complete Thinking Task 1 on your worksheet. This task asks you to think about different activities that you could use in the literacy classroom to cater for different learning styles. You can take as long as you need to do this. Once completed, release the pause button and continue viewing. OK, so let's take a look at what we think. Visual learners decode information and learn through seeing. To help this kind of learner assimilate a story or text, for example, a graphic representation such as a picture or mind map can be useful. These help pupils to see the characters and sequence of events in a story. And artistic learners in particular will enjoy being able to represent the narrative in images. Auditory learners, on the other hand, need to hear a story read and reread aloud in order to make sense of it. To do this, we can elicit and reinforce the sequence of the story by asking them to correct and substitute elements of the plot 
and sequence verbally as we go along. We also need to ask them questions about their understanding and allow time for the retelling of the story, in circle time for example. Think, pair, share activities also work well for these learners. Think, pair, share is when pupils firstly think individually about what they remember from the story, they then share this with a partner, and finally, together as a class, they help the teacher recall the story in English. Finally, what about kinesthetic learners? Mime and stand in order activities are great for this kind of learner, as are reading race activities, where you put pieces of text maybe around a room, and then pupils work in pairs. One reads and remembers a piece of text, and then reads it aloud from memory to their partner, who writes it down as quickly as possible. In fact, any hands-on activity that allows pupils' movement whilst learning facilitates understanding and the assimilation of new knowledge. Lifting a text from a book, for example, and placing it in small chunks around the room also allows for movement whilst learning. In each case, taking into account the possible different learning preferences of our pupils can only help, and rarely hinder, any one type of learner. Balance is the key. To find out what type of learner you are, go to the external link section and complete the online questionnaire. To help your learners become more aware of their own learning preferences, display or create posters, or design yes, no, not sure questionnaires for them to complete. This helps them become aware of their own preferences for learning and know how and why they need to focus on a particular part of the class when they find it hard to concentrate. Once you've finished watching this video, please complete Thinking Task 2 and Thinking Task 3 on your worksheet. Once you've done this, download the accompanying answer sheet to compare your thinking with ours. In the external link section, you will also find some useful online literacy and learning styles websites. We hope you've enjoyed this course. Remember, you can replay this video as many times as you like. Goodbye and good luck. Thank you.